Hello Booklovers and welcome to my pocket of joy. What? What is this I'm hearing? No, no, I can't, I can't be hearing it right. No, I, I don't believe it. Really? What? You haven't bought a constellation yet? I can't tell if you're just being crazy or if you don't know what you're missing. For those new to this channel, um, this is um, the book I've published. I've self-published this. And um, to give you a little more details, um, this is a kind of fairy tale story and it's quite short. Um, set on the moon with a chosen one main character um, who has a countdown tattoo on her skin. She has a really fun sidekick who can turn into an animal and this animal is a hare. I'm a Jane Austen fan so of course I kind of had to add a Darcy-esque um, love interest um, it's not the main focus of the book, but for those of you who love a little romance, here it is. It's kind of sweet and cozy and it's perfect for this time of year and not only, it's perfect for, for 2020 because you need some cheering up. <laughs> and the best part is, it is on sale until the 31st of December. So I thought of you guys, I didn't stop at Christmas. I've made the sale to last for the whole duration of the months of December. Don't miss the opportunity. Buy a constellation. So let's put this desperate marketing technique aside and um, go to the topic of this video, which is writing. I decided to take you with me in this journey that I will be going on today, which is writing a very big and important chapter um, of the sequel of Constellation. It is the chapter in part three, which is the last part of the book, which is sort of the turning point of the book in the sense that it is where the good guys um, kind of begin the fight of against the, the, the bad guys. I say begin because it will go on for a few more chapters, but this will be the, the big one, the most important one, I think. And um, I wanted you to um, take the ride with me and follow my struggles because I will struggle. I usually struggle when I know it's a big deal. <laughs> Come with me and see that for yourself. <laughs> particularly hard moment for me because I need to write a speech and um, I am much more talented um, with um, descriptions of places, of, of feelings, of situations, um, but more of places. Um, and uh, dialogue always was very hard for me. I'm always afraid that it sounds that it sounds fake and, and, and not true to the characters, but also to actually the way people speak. The thing is, this isn't a dialogue, this is a monologue, this is a speech um, of a queen. And um, it is harder, it is harder because, well, I'm not no politician myself, so um, I haven't had lessons in public speaking uh, per se, and um, having to write them for someone else that isn't even me is um, is 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 hard because um, you need to make it convincing. You need to make it that um, the people to whom she's speaking 
believe her, trust her. It is a difficult <laughs> task and um, I hope I'll, I'll do it um, well enough. Um, I'm not going to say perfectly because I don't think there is such a thing. Even the best speeches in the world have their defaults. Um, but um, well enough is what I'm striving for for this first draft. <laughs> speech. I'm actually happy with it, I think. Um, and um, now we'll start a tricky part because this important chapter that I'm writing um, has basically three things happening at the same time. And I'm not sure I want to do three separate chapters for them because I'm not sure there's material for three chapters. Ah, oh, three chapters? <laughs> Well, of course, I could always flourish it and add stuff, but I, I don't believe it's necessary and I don't like to read books that have too many flourishes um, just to make it longer, kind of. So for now, I will just mix the three elements, the three things happening in three different places um, in the same chapter. This the important part for me here is that I write the story as I want it, I mean as it's happened and then if it turns out that it looks better in three different chapters I will do it that way but at least I will have the layout already uh, there. some research as well because um, there is an important part of this chapter that has to do with um, the moon rise all over the world so I need to ca kind of calculate when the moon rises in every time zone to kind of separate when things happen in the in the, the place that interests me, uh, in this case is France, so I'm not sure I <laughs> understand all of it, so I need to focus a bit on that before I continue. Um, so yeah, writing is not actually just writing, it has a lot of research into it. But it's fascinating because you learn a lot. I find it really interesting. Um, what you what you think is actually true, what actually is true, and uh, the way it all works, and sometimes an information that you never thought uh, would exist helps you actually develop your plot in a direction that you never saw coming. This is why I think research is actually one of the most um, important aspects of writing, of course, imagination and everything is the starting point but in order to make your story um, have meaning and kind of have like important roots and, and structure you need the research for that and um, that's what I'm doing. chapter and didn't finish the whole scene or important part because it felt right in the sense that I did a take on what was happening in the three different places at the same time but ended it at sort of a cliffhanger and I feel that um, the rest can develop in another chapter just after that. So I'm not sure I'll write it today though. Um, I've written so far 2021 words, uh, quite happy with that. Um, maybe I'll write more tonight, 
uh, maybe not. If you all didn't already know, I am a panzer, which means I just go with the flow, I don't plot, I don't plan exactly, um, there is no real layout on a notebook or anything, it's just I write the way I feel it should go. It's the same with a dialogue, um, I know basically what I want to say in general, um, but sometimes um, the reactions of the characters to a certain type of dialogue make the direction um, go in a certain way that I hadn't planned and um, I do get to the point of what I want to say but sometimes it develops differently and you have other stuff that come up and that enrich the whole dialogue or the story and um, that just comes with the flow really um, and I really love that it's like the characters are talking to me and in this particular part it's not the character it's not really a dialogue and it's not really the characters talking to me it's just the story structure is telling me I should stop the chapter at this part and um, make my readers uh, want to read the next one otherwise they cannot go to sleep I decided to stop my writing for today here and um, to finish this video as well here. Uh, I'll definitely make another video of me writing the last chapter if you're interested and i um, really looking forward to it. I think I'm about four to six chapters um, before um, to the end so um, it's really exciting and I'm so looking forward to um, the editing part after I le leave it to rest for a few weeks. Hopefully I'll manage to finish it before Christmas so I can rest and I can enjoy the festivi festivities without the whole stress of oh god I didn't finish the book before. So um, yeah Hope you enjoyed the video and um, are excited for any future videos of the kind. If you did, uh, give it a little thumbs up. Uh, it's just a little click and it doesn't cost you anything just as subscribing to my channel doesn't cost you anything and would mean the world to me. Uh, your support and um, is very important to me, especially as a self-published writer, because it is so very difficult to get acknowledged and unknown and appreciated for the work that I do. I hope you have a lovely weekend, the last weekend before Christmas. Stay healthy, stay kind, stay happy and um, see you next time. To the loo.